Hello, this is Mr. Kenyanola, and I'm going to show you about, I want to teach you, show you this, this shape right here. Um, and it looks like a rectangle. And in order to know all about a rectangle, you have to know about his or her mom or dad or parent or whoever it begot this one. So, um, yeah, so before we talk about rectangles, let's review parallelograms. And if you remember, there are five facts about parallelograms. So let's take a red pen and let's mark those on here with some symbols. So opposite sides are parallel. So we can say that this side is parallel to this side with an arrow. And this side is parallel to its opposite side with an arrow. That means these sides would never intersect if these lines went on forever. Next one. Consecutive interior angles are supplementary. Um, there really aren't any symbols to say that, but we just know that this angle would add up uh, with this angle would add up to 180 degrees, and this angle plus this angle would add up to 180 degrees. This angle, this angle would add up to 180 degrees, and so on. Um, opposite angles are congruent, so we can put one arc here, and its opposite angle would also have one arc. So if this angle was 50 degrees, then this angle would have to be 50 degrees. And this angle with two arcs would be congruent to its opposite angle with two arcs. So if this angle was 130 degrees, then this angle would also be 130 degrees. All right, uh, fact number four, uh, opposite sides are congruent. So we can put one tick mark here, one tick mark here, two tick marks here, and two tick marks here. So if this was 10, this one would have to be 10. If this one was 5, this one ha would have to be 5. And last fact, quick review, diagonals bisect each other. So if you remember what a diagonal is, it's a line that connects the two opposite points and another line for its other diagonal. And so this diagonal, just cut this diagonal in half. So the two halves will be congruent to each other. So three tick marks here and three tick marks here. And this diagonal, just cut this diagonal in half. So we could put four tick marks and four tick marks here. So remember, this half is congruent to this half, but not congruent to this half, okay? But this half is congruent to this half. So that's why it's three and three, four and four. All right, so that's the parallelogram rectangle and you're like i know what a rectangle is i've played with the little blocks i played with legos or uh, duplos or whatever um blocks when i was growing up i know what a rectangle looks like but do you know the facts about um a rectangle so here's a rectangle hopefully you know how to spell it rectangle cool. all right so a rectangle uh first fact is it is e Qui ang gu lur. Equi angu lur. Uh, so a rectangle is equiangular. That means all the angles are congruent. And because a rectangle can be made out of two triangles, if we drew a diagonal, we would have two di triangles there. Um, that would mean that uh, the angles add up to 360 degrees. 360 divided by 4 would make each of those angles 90 degrees right there. So equiangular, all four angles are congruent. And more specifically, every angle is 90 degrees. So let's put that in parentheses. Every angle is or equals 90 degrees. So every angle equals 90 degrees. Uh, fact number two, um, and this is the important fact, is, well, if we drew, and I'm going to take a different color over here. Uh, if we drew a diagonal, let's get a darker color. Uh, yep. Okay, so. If we drew a diagonal here, from here to here, okay, and we drew a diagonal from here to here, fact number two is that the, so it's kind of um, 
a little refinement from fact number five from parallelograms. The diagonals bisect each other, but we can say here that the diagonals are congruent. So if this diagonal right here is, say, 10, then this diagonal over here would be also 10. Okay, and so that's important. That's important to know. That's There's a big difference right here from the parallelogram. Since the diagonals are congruent and because a rectangle is a parallelogram, okay, so the rectangle inherits all five of these facts. Okay, so parallelogram gives all five of these facts to the rectangle, and that's super important. I should have said that first, but yeah, so a rectangle has these five facts, plus it's equiangular, plus the diagonals are congruent. So that's important because these diagonals are congruent. It also inherits that the diagonals bisect each other. So let's think about this. If this side is five and this diagonal bisects this entire diagonal, then this has to be five and this has to be five. And because that these diagonals are congruent, this entire diagonal has to be 10, so this half has to be 5, and this half has to be 5. So that means that every half is congruent. Unlike here in the parallelogram, this half is only congruent to this half, and this half is only congruent to this half, whereas all four halves are congruent. So let's put all four halves are congruent. Okay, so if I asked you what are the characteristics of a parallel of a rectangle, not a parallelogram, but a rectangle, there's seven of them. Okay, and it's these five for a parallelogram because a parallelogram is the rectangle's mom, and it's equiangular and the diagonals are congruent. So seven total facts about rectangles, okay? Because a rectangle is a parallelogram. It's a special parallelogram. Um, so let's use these facts to do this next problem. All right, PQRS is a rectangle. Uh, angle SPR, SPR is 62 degrees and SQ is 18 feet. Find all of these, so I suggest pressing pause, uh, press pause, draw this, and try to do it on your own. Uh, and then once you think you have it, unpause and see if you have the same answers. Okay, so here's how you do this. So remember, a rectangle, uh, let's, let's mark it off. Let's mark what we know about a rectangle. It's a parallelogram, and it's a special parallelogram, so that means all four angles are 90 degrees. So let's put the little box there, the little square that says all four of these individual angles are 90 degrees. And let's also remind ourselves that these diagonals are congruent and the halves are congruent. So I'm gonna put a tick mark here, tick mark here, tick mark here, and tick mark here. Okay, and then we also know the five facts about the parallelogram. Okay, so what is PRS? So PRS, so here it is, so P R S. Hmm. Well, I'm going to take my blue pen and I'm going to highlight this triangle right here. P. And it's kind of tricky. So take a highlighter, take a marker so that you can filter out the stuff you don't need and focus on the stuff that you do need. Uh, so let's just focus on this blue triangle that we just drew. Uh, and we're trying to figure out what the measure is for uh, angle PRS. Well, look at it. It's a right triangle because this is 90 degrees. This is 62 degrees. So let's use the triangle sum theorem. We know all three angles add up to 180 degrees. So let's figure it out. Uh, 90 plus 62 is 152. 180 minus 152 is 28 degrees. So this is 28 degrees. Okay. Because it's a right triangle. Okay, uh, next thing, ST, what is the length of ST? Well, we know the entire thing is 18, and we know that this diagonal bisects this diagonal, so this half of the diagonal has to be nine. So let's put nine, because half of 18 is nine. Coincidentally, all these 
are 9 because we know all four halves are congruent. All right, next thing. Uh, what is the measure of angle R, S, Q? So R, S, Q. Now, this is a fun one. There's a, um, let's look at this one. I'm going to highlight. I'm going to take a different color. And I'm just going to highlight this triangle right here. So here, here, and here. Look at that. Because R, S, Q. Um, and we're really trying to find this angle right here. I could have highlighted all the way here and used this um, this triangle right here. But I want to use this triangle. Because this triangle will also help us find R, S, Q. What this angle is right here. Look at this orange triangle. Look at it. Look at it. What do you see there in that orange triangle? Tick marks right here. So what kind of triangle is this? Yup, it's isosceles. Isosceles. And what kind of angles do isosceles triangles have? Base angles. These angles are base angles. So this angle also, if this is this angle is 28 degrees, then this angle also has to be 28 degrees. So the measure of RSQ is 28 degrees. So RSQ, we're trying to find this angle right here. They could have named this as RST. It's the same angle, okay? RST and RSQ. That's why I use this triangle. Tell me if you're at this angle because this triangle is an isosceles triangle. 28, 28, 28 degrees. Okay, uh, next one. R. T. What is the length of RT? Ha! Huh, we already did it because we un we know all the halves are congruent, so we already know that's nine feet. Don't forget to put feet. And let's put a degrees there. All right, uh, next one. Uh, P Q S. What is the measure of angle P Q S? Hmm. Well, let's think about this. We know that the the parent of the rectangle is a parallelogram. So we know these lines right here are parallel. And it's t asking us to find this angle, PQS, this angle right here. And so this line right here is parallel to this line. And this line right here is a transversal. And we know that these two angles right here are alternate interior angles. And if these lines are parallel, then alternate interior angles have to be congruent. So this is also 28 degrees. Okay. Whoa, it seems like everything's 28 degrees. Not really, but um, yeah. Well, you can also use that, this information to figure out all the other angles, which are probably 20, 62 degrees, um, if you look at them. All right, and then the last one, this one's a tricky one. P.S. This side right here. Okay, so we want to figure out what this side right here is. And I'm going to call it X. Now, I want you guys to focus. Okay, there's a lot of things that we wrote down. And it gets a little muddy. It gets a little blurry uh, when we start looking at everything we wrote down. But we only want to focus on one thing. This blue triangle, okay? And I'm gonna draw this blue triangle down here for us uh, so we can focus on it. So look at that. So there's this. And we know that this is what we're trying to find over here, which is X. We know that this diagonal is 18. So I'm gonna put an 18 over here. We know that this angle is 90. We know that this angle is 62 degrees, okay? We know this angle is 28, but we really don't have to put that there because looking at this triangle, I think we have enough information to figure out what X is. Uh, the 62, what is this X to the 62? It is the adjacent. What is that 18 to the 62? That's the hypotenuse. Adjacent hypotenuse, adjacent hypotenuse. Uh, uh, kuh cosine of 62 is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse. Let's put the one under. 
and let's cross multiply. So x is equal to 18 times the cosine of 62. Let's grab our trusty calculators. It's, it's in degrees. So 18 times cosine of 62 is 8.45. So x is about 8.45. So ps is about 8.45 feet. There you go. And that's that's a rectangle. And those are the parts of the rectangle. And just for funsies, because you know the facts about rectangles now and parallelograms, you could find every part of this tri of this rectangle now. The opposite sides are uh, congruent, so this is 8.45. If you wanted to use the Pythagorean theorem, you could figure out this bottom side right here now with 8.45 and 18. You can use uh, uh, complementary angles to find the missing angles now, and then use triangle sum theorem to find these vertical angles right there. So there you go. It's a rectangle. Rectangle. Two facts. Equiangular. 90 degrees. Diagonals. Are congruent so all halves are congruent plus the five facts about a parallelogram opposite sides are parallel opposite uh, angles are congruent consecutive interior angles are supplementary opposite sides are congruent and diagonals are uh, bisect each other so there we go <clears throat> that's a rectangle seven total facts remember rectangle is a special parallelogram because a parallelogram is a rectangle's mom. So it inherits all these, plus it has some uniqueness uh, to it with these two facts. All right, that's it. That's a rectangle. Have a great day.